is here at Home and Homesteader down here on the PC and Homestead. You might be able to tell by looking around there been a little bit of snow over the night. Some down here. And uh, you can see here there's a bit of snow in a pile. I don't know if you can make it out from the other. If you're an expert Michigander or like Homer Hillbilly get a stander. You can see that there pile of snow. And I wanted to show you why it's there. This here is snow plow version 2.0. I don't know if you paid a lot of close attention to snow plow 1.0, but uh, Homer took it out for its inaugural spin. Had some problems. So snow plow 1.0 is up there on the top with another two by six down below. Then put them together with some two by fours in the back. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it all. Got a little snow on there. Then across the front, Homer put some plywood to hold them together. And he made out some holes for the pallet fork. Here on the old Kubota, the farm tractor. I tried getting her on the Prius, but as you might have seen, I had a little bit of damage there on the front. So here's my thought on version 2.0. 1.0 wasn't staying down on the ground. I did get a little slant. I had added a 2x4 behind it. This here, I got it slanted from this side, from the left side over to the right, so it'll push snow off the side of the road as I go on the United States side of the road. Got a little build up here with a couple 2x4s that hold it out from the back of the pallet forks, which gives it a little angle. Also, with the pushing action on the bottom here, that was another problem I had is snow plow version 1.0 weren't staying down all the way on the ground. So I made this come down below the pallet forks. I think I might trim this extra off. Uh, I can see it's, you know, kind of leaving a little lump, which I thought it would, uh, but I didn't want to get too fancy until I figured out this was working good. So I got it where it'll go all the way to the ground now. The pallet forks don't hit into the dirt. They stay up off. I can adjust how much pressure so I can get close to the ground as I want. I did get caught a little bit here where the ground starts to rise. I just picked up the pallet forks a little bit and we had to put them back down when I go over a hump. But uh, this here is version 2.0. I think I pointed out it goes all of its new features. It's more than one piece held together with plywood in the front. Some two by four braces across the back. It's made to go down below the pallet fork so it can get all the way to the ground. It slants from the left side over there to the right side over here. So it'll push the snow off to one side as it accumulates. Uh, and like I said, I'm gonna have to, it's a little bit wider on that side too so I can get that over to the side of the road. Get this hopefully right down the middle. I uh, might have to take uh, and either add some more underneath this or uh, take that piece off so it's level. I might just leave it there depending on how lazy I feel in a day or two. But just thought I'd give you, since I showed you version 1.0, and part of what we're doing out here at PC Eden is trying to figure out things some as we go along. We'll, we'll look on some YouTube videos and stuff too. But since I had my first chance at real snow when I moved up here from Texas in the middle of winter, I tried out version 1.0 not having a snow plow yet and figured I'd give her 2.0 because I figured out some things that uh, could have worked a little bit better. You can hear the ducks over in the background. They're over there just enjoying running around in the snow, quacking it up a little bit with their newly trimmed wings. And uh, not flying away, that's the important part. And there they are a little bit closer. But anyway, back to the main idea was talking here about version 2.0 of the snow plow on the farm Kubota there. Got the forks all fixed up and ready to go. And I'm off to plow a mile down to the road because my sister's coming today. Uh, also, I'd like for you to start giving some comments on if you want more instructional videos, more goofy videos, some of both. Homer likes to do the goofy stuff and is trying a little bit of his hand here at instructional and trial and error kind of things. 
Uh, so let us know in the comments below. Also, if you like our videos, hit the like button. And don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, to just subscribe and share with your friends and families in case they might like our adventures and antics too. You can also see us on Facebook at Peace of Eden Homestead and Homer Homesteader. That's all I got. Just so you like an update on property. Off to plow.